Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel, Victoria Physics. I hope you all are fine. And uh, today we will uh, learn a chain of plot. And uh, you all know that the basics of this section is already been done. So just click on the links provided in the description box. And you'll have three uh, videos to watch uh, from there. Uh, that is, it's based on uh, the basics of how to plot simple uh, functions like the tan functions, the sine, the trigonometries, the exponential functions, the quadratic functions. These were already done. And uh, usage of uh, small commands like uh, setting of origin, setting of the axis, how to uh, style your uh, plotting, like usage of uh, uh, points and uh, line width, line color, all this was done. So just, I would request you all before starting today's class, just go and brush up those sections. It will hardly take 15 to 20 minutes for you all if you watch those three videos. And then if you join today's class, it will be helpful for you all to make understanding more better because I won't be uh, elaborating on the small sections uh, which are already done in my previous class. So let's begin today. Uh, we will do quite a lot of things. Uh, and the first thing that we'll do is uh, we'll be starting with multiplot. Before that, just uh, let me enhance the font style so that is better visible for you all. Now, uh, whatever I'll be uh, discussing in my tutorial is mainly because uh, for the four-year graduation program under Calcutta University syllabus, and that too for the NEP system. So this is uh, the first batch of the four-year graduation program that will be appearing for their exams, which is just from the corner, uh, starting from 3rd of April. So I hope this tutorial on junior plot is beneficial for you all. And uh, uh, the Python paper is... 100 mark paper, I guess you all know. And the paper breakup is like you have a 20 marks chain of plot uh, section, uh, 40 marks Python programming part, 20 marks is based on your lab manual or the lab files, and uh, the rest 20 is uh, Viber. So I'm just trying to help the students uh, of other uh, places apart from my college so that they can also benefit from my uh, tutorials and uh, give their exams uh, better. So it's just a small initiative from my part to help you all. Okay. Uh, so before uh, starting, uh, I would uh, say one thing that if you are stuck anywhere, just drop in your questions in the chat box. I would be uh, very happy to answer them all. All I want is you learn from this tutorial, you uh, score better marks in your uh, upcoming exams, okay? So let's begin with multiplot. So as you can understand with the name itself, uh, multiplot means setting, uh, plotting uh, many functions like three to four plots in a single uh, frame, okay? So for that, you have to first write set multiplot, okay? So today we'll be taking four different plots in a single uh, frame. And for that, you have to set the frame size and also you have to write set multiplot, okay? So once you write uh, set multiplot, uh, you'll have, a, and press the enter, you'll have a separate box of that plot, which will open up, okay? Let's click. Uh, just tell me whether it's visible or not. So, uh, I guess it's visible. So, just scroll below, you'll see this extra window is there. This is the multiplot section that has been created. Once you write this command, set multiplot. Okay. Don't close this part. Just minimize and keep aside because once uh, we'll be setting all the axes and writing all the 
different plotting functions uh, one by one they'll be appearing in that box okay so the size uh, of the frame let's uh, take it to be as 0.5 comma 0.5 okay so i have set the frame size as 0.5 from a 0 0.5, it's a grid of uh, 0.5 versus 0.5. Now, inside that, I'll be plotting four different functions. So to plot them, you have to set the origin. So let's set the origin for the first function as uh, 0, 0,0. Okay. And let's take uh, the first function as sine x, the simple function sine x. Okay. So I have taken set origin as zero zeros and I have taken plot sine x. Now, when I enter, uh, press this enter, I have this sine x being plotted at origin. See? So you have a, a frame of 0.5 versus 0.5, and this uh, plot of sine x is plotted at the uh, origin that is 0, 0. At the corner of this entire frame. I hope uh, you are being able to understand. Let's proceed. It will make uh, things more clear. So, so let's say to the next axis, set origin. Uh, let's take it to be 0.5. Okay, 0.5 comma 0. First one I have taken 0 comma 0, then I'm taking 0.5 comma 0. Now let's plot PLOT. You can write PLOT or simply PL for your uh, plotting the equations. Okay, these are the two commands that you can write for plotting. Okay, you can simply write PL or also write PLOT. Okay, so let's take a different function. Let's say it's uh, by one plus x. So I'm taking another function, x by 1 plus x. Okay. Let's press enter and check. So you see x by 1 plus x being plotted at 0.5 comma 0. So it's at the right end corner of the entire frame. So this is how it works. I hope you are getting uh, the things clear. Okay. So if you're stuck anywhere, just drop me uh, then and there, and I'll be happy to answer, okay? Okay, let's move on to the next question. Let's uh, set the origin. Um, set origin as 0.5, okay? And let's take a different function, say x squared into e to the power minus x. So x squared, I hope uh, you're familiar now how to write x double star, that is square, x square into e to the power x means e x p. All these things are done in my previous preview videos. So just go to the link. I'm uh, saying this once again because for exponential functions, what you should write, I have also elaborated on that over there. So just go and check those. Okay. So e to the power say minus x. Okay, I have taken this. Now let's check how it works out. So this is 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 area, and it is plotting the function x squared into e to the power minus x. Okay. I hope you're understanding this section. And uh, that's the final one. I'm actually taking different functions so that you can also understand that you can plot anything of your wish. You can have a trigonometric function, an algebraic function, and a mixture of exponential and functions, anything you want to be. So set the last one, set origin, 0, 0.5. Okay. 
okay one thing don't uh, make mistake in this origin part be careful while writing this origin because if you make mistake in any of this what will happen is that this graphs will uh, get overlapped with one another okay so these are uh, essential parts to be uh, that needs to be remembered so the last one let's take an easier one let's say x square okay plot x square let's check so i hope you're understanding this section so once this uh, uh, Multiplot is been done. You have to always unset this multiplot so that whatever next part you proceed in your frame, uh, it doesn't get uh, collided. So uh, this is multiplot. You can plot any number of plots in a grid in a frame as per your wish. All you have to do is set your origin in a uh, orderly manner. Okay. So thank you all for watching this tutorial section and I hope it will benefit you a lot. If you have any kind of doubt, just drop in your questions and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also share these links to your uh, friends or other students so that they can also benefit from it. Okay, thank you so much. Stay safe and do watch my next part for better performance in your exam, okay? Take care.